For today's creature feature, we come to Daytona Beach, Florida. This is the balcony view from our hotel room. We checked in late last night, and today this morning we're headed to Haunt Con, baby. Haunt is on. And now down on Atlantic Avenue, AKA Highway A1A, the hotel, the venue we're going to for today's event is down to the left. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. Creature feature haunt is on. This is gonna be something new to us both. We're going to Haunt Con, a haunted attractions trade show. As you were just saying, this is where the haunters, the people who create the haunted houses come to see what's the latest and greatest, where they purchase all new stuff, get ideas. Our first time doing something like this, I'm so stoked to be going to Haunt Con today. I read that this is their first time here in three years. They have been in Florida before, but this is a traveling trade show. They have it in different states every year, but this year, Sweet Home Florida. Yep, right there in the Hilton behind us. We're gonna head over there and have some fun. I have no idea what we're about to get into. We avoided all spoilers, so here we go. Watch ahead. And right here on Atlantic, the Hilton, that's where the trade show is going on. Just want to show you again, the Atlantic Ocean, right behind us, Ritchie Plaza. Very historical spot here. Chris, the girl and I were at this hotel one year ago. Chris filmed her first filming locations video out here. It was the Netflix documentary series, Cheer. They filmed it right out here. That was one year ago. That was a year ago, pretty crazy. We, like just yesterday. I feel like we were just here. It's a really nice hotel. And thankfully we didn't have to get the car out to come down to the convention. We walked our hotel not too far from here. It's 1035, as you see on this historic Daytona Beach clock that sits right between the Hilton Hotel and the Atlantic. Let's head inside. Haunt Con opened at 10. And we have signage. Check it out. February 9th through 11th, Haunt Con, Haunt an indie horror film show also a horror film show a lot of creature feature stuff going on today okay didn't expect to see this it's the leg lamp from a christmas story and here we are we have made a check in over here vendor room that way past that thing that looks fun wristbands acquired 30 bucks for all weekend each that's pretty awesome 30 bucks for all weekend and also they gave us these free lanyards that say purgatory on them and i saw this advertised on the website the stan winston school of character arts is here today stan winston's special effects school and there's the terminator right there amazing just track down the locations to the terminator in los angeles all right first look at the vendor room and it looks amazing whoa okay this is a lot bigger than i was expecting to be honest i'm gonna see a lot of cool stuff here today and we're gonna start right here on the right vfxcreates.com these are friends of ours look at this oh my gosh that person lost their face that's very westworld isn't it that's crazy oh my gosh oh the mummy's alive Oh, wow. That is, that is so good. I love this company here. VFXcreates.com. They got so many cool animatronics. Oh my gosh. Vampire Bat Alert. That is so good. So creepy. Ah! I hate to ask this, but what's in the box? It looks empty. It, goes, it does look Why empty. Are you afraid? Do you want to come and play? Whoa! Oh my gosh! Is there a ghost? I never get to see the ghost. No, <laughs> no it's fine. Hat box I'm ghost. Say you have to have a soul to see the ghost. Can we do that again? <laughs> are you scared? That was so good. Oh! Oh my gosh. So if I wanted to, I could pick up these animatronics and try them myself as they're doing right here. These are pretty creepy. These really add to haunted attractions. I've seen people buy these for their haunts and add them to like the queue line, you know, to get people pumped up before they go into the haunted house, get them prepped. These are some good stuff. Wow, that's creepy. That about, that about poked me in the eye. Ah, I'd say there's much ahead. <laughs> oh, gross. This is freaking me out. This stuff is awesome and so realistic. Two-headed dude there. Oh, 
that's not good. You can also pick whether you want blonde or brunette. Oh, these are bungee heads, so like they pop back on you. That's amazing. Or you could go with rainbow. I don't know if it would be a haunt convention without haunt scene here. Absolutely not. I think I think right now we're in Daytona, Florida here, and we're actually not at Haunt Con. We're at Haunt Scene Con. Haunt Scene Con. Jo Johnny's the man behind the scenes. It, but but here at Haunt Con in Daytona, we're we a really good time. This spooky vlog yesterday. Awesome vendor floor. All kinds of awesome classes, movie premieres, independent horror festivals, really, really cool kinds of stuff, and uh, it's the ocean. I mean, look, it's right there. That's amazing. Look at that. Kind of see it. There you go. What? Whoa! I know we. I, I saw the picture on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. Just to, just to confirm. Apostrophe D. That one. And the Halloween shirt company is here. A lot of good shirts. House of Horror. I really like that one there. I've seen these people at different conventions. October Forever. I like this one with the uh, black cat and the jack-o'-lantern. We got a creature shirt. We've got some more stuff over here as well. I actually own a couple of their shirts. Specifically, this one right here. Hillbilly Mayhem, Pemberton Haunters. This is a killer t-shirt. Good to see our favorite backyard haunt yeah. here. For Haunt Con. How many times have you guys been here? Have you been it's to Haunt Con before? It's your first year yeah. too? Look at that, first time goers. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Make sure you check out Pemberton Haunters on Instagram. Check them out this fall. Also, our good friend Rich here, always hooking us up. Really look forward to seeing what you guys have next year. Yeah, it's gonna be Can't awesome. Wait for you guys to see here we come. Oh, watch out behind you. Oh boy. Oh my yeah. gosh, we got cosplay. Yeah. It's got a cotton candy. Look at that. That's, That's awesome. Still hey. Walker cotton candy. Clown. Why is it always got to be clouds? Yeah. <laughs> so creepy. Oh man. The Batter up. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> it's actually raspberry. Raspberry. It's really good. Whoa, dude. He just smoke bombed you. What is that thing? All right. I want to see this in a haunted house. Whoa. That's amazing. Bring it on. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, you're really launching these things now. Whoa. Okay, that's our friend. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. VFX creates. Whoa. Okay. I'm just gonna let the camera roll. We've barely set foot in the door, and I'm already having a great time. And we're over here at Monster Works, making friends right off the bat. These are really cool. I, I love that you put the razor blade and the syringe in there. That is so creepy. Imagine leaving that on your porch during Halloween. These are a mess, and I love it. Bucket of somebody, is that what you call them? Somebody, yeah. We're not sure who they are. We didn't ask any questions. You, nope, can't ask any questions. Check out Monster Works, monsterworksentertainment.com. Haunts, Horror, and Hell. So what do you guys call yourselves again? Uh, Haunts, Horror, Hell. We like to think of ourselves kind of as like a Halloween general store. Oh. All this artwork can be found online. You said you make this for like metal bands and... So, uh, I don't, uh, the, some artists. Okay, so these are artists. Yeah. Awesome. And here's all the QR codes right there if you want to check them out. I don't think we're gonna get rid of this guy. He's gonna be around all day. This booth over here looks pretty cool. Wow. I like this guy. Reminds me of Return of the Living Dead. Very charred. Yeah. I need to take him home with you. Oh, yeah. How much is he? 750. 750? That's not bad. See, you can get all kinds of deals here at Hong Kong. That's a lot of work right there. It was a pain in the butt. Yeah. Just posing them was a pain in the butt. Just posing them like that? So this is the Monster Misfits? Is that what? This side is like all this stuff here over there and that side is Monsters Alive. Monsters Alive. Yeah, since we're both monsters, we decided to put everything together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotcha. That's really cool. All kinds of special effects stuff here. Look at this ghost gel. Yes, ghost gel, so that makes uh, stuff shiny. So that's what he's coated in. Okay, that, that makes, makes him shiny. shiny. Yeah. Do we need some of that? Yeah. We can make Bella shiny. Then we got worm food. That's what's in this. Okay. And we also make pumpkin guts. Nice. Pumpkin make, guts. Uh, pump, uh, toxic pumpkin guts. Okay. You can you you can take the seeds out of this if you want, or you 
have options. That's there. really clever. That's awesome. This guy's pretty cool too. Like a fallout dude. This looks like a little jackal kid, jackal child. Creepy. This booth really got it going on over here. Nice display. Monsters alive. Make sure you check them out. I'll give uh, I'll give you some of their information. If you like what you see here, go check it out. Monsters alive. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. There's the QR codes right there. Whoa. Werewolf. Werewolf. This is Midnight Studios FX. Those are suits right there. Those are freaking gnarly. Wow. Look, Bigfoot. Looks like Bigfoot, doesn't it? They've got these suits back here. They've got these masks right here. There's an alien dude right there. Midnight Studios FX. This is like a creature. That's like a, that's like a descent looking creature. Abominable snowman, maybe another alien. These are awesome. Whoa, I like the red eyes. Yeah, check them out, Midnight Studios FX. Chris is over here checking out this makeup vendor. They've got all kinds of other stuff too, some horror collectibles and memorabilia. I see some Chucky stuff. Looks like that right there is signed by Alex Vincent who played Andy and Chucky. This little bag right here. Whoa, you're everywhere. <laughs> Check that out. Signed by Andy himself. Well, look at you adorable little one. What did you say his name was again? Cooper. Cooper. Hi, Cooper. It's adorable. So adorable. He's three months. Aww. And this one, Toby, That's is Toby? Two months. Aww. So cute. Obviously, they're from different daddies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was gonna ask. <laughs> that didn't add up. <laughs> I like the Jason and the Freddy tombstones there. Also, there's Billy. Billy, I see you everywhere. They've got Avatar masks. Avatar is a horror movie, right? And if you like what you saw there, check out Scrappy Costumes. Freaking disgusting. But freaking awesome. Whoa. Now this is a clever idea. Wow. And check this one. This one's like neon. Like an ooze. A toxic ooze. This is Murder Beach Productions. There's a giant sign below that demented freaking looking clown. All kinds of stuff over here. This guy, he's got three eyes, two noses, one mouth. He's got a head over the barrel. Whoa. We've also got some horror masks over here. This is a cool booth. Got your weapon props. Galore. Check all these out. Yeah, this is the type of stuff you can purchase. What happened? Did you get scared? There he goes. Ah, shiver me timbers. That's how I look in a, <laughs> I'm on a boat as well. A little seasick? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, if you like what you see here, Murder Beach Productions. Check them out. This booth is gigantic. We're still going, same booth. That's a freaky cloud. What do you got there, lunch? Yeah, I think I'll pass. Nice knife. You are scary. Murder Beach Productions is murdering it with the horror props. Check this out. I really like the Michael Myers little popcorn bucket display with a mask. Got a clown. There's a Jason Voorhees one. These are a hundred bucks, most of them. Feed me, Seymour, feed me. That one's 195 bucks. Also, there's a leather face back there. Boots galore. Chris really likes this section. Look at that. I need some pink spider web boots. What do you think? I think they look good. Yeah. Costume apparel. Radioactive. Look at that. Black light reactive. Got a whole row here of costumes. Look at those boots. Yeah. I'll get them if that spike comes with it. 95 bucks. All right, deal. This is a good spot for haunters to get costumes for their scare actors. All ready to go here. So many different costumes. And that was all one booth there. Across the way here, we've got Firestorm Productions. They're doing a little makeup there, a little example. That looks real. Wow. And this is actually Michael Davies Watermelon Appliances and Kits. That's who's putting on the makeup there. We've got all kinds of stuff to purchase here. Prosthetic cosmetics. Check out their theatrical cosmetics too. There's a little book here. Check them out online. 
MichaelDavy.com. AO Studios, theatrical makeup, effects, design, and productions. All kinds of special effects stuff in here and creations. Now that's what I need for my Super Bowl party right there. What do you think? You think the guests will like it? Ha! Ah, that's creepy. Halloween and horror go together. And you can see why here. You can see it at haunt cons, especially in trade shows. Oh, it's Mickey and Goofy. All right, can you imagine this version of Mickey and Goofy walking around Magic Kingdom? That actually might make a great video. <laughs> oh, I also like the bunny in there. Now imagine this bunny in the mall and your kid sitting on his lap taking photos with him come Easter. Imagine that. And the Mickey and the Goofy sitting in front of this display here, Fright Night Studios. Check out all of the goodies. Oh my gosh, that poor possum. There's some roadkill right there. Oh, that's so realistic looking. I like the pumpkins, specifically these two fellas. They're adorable. Aren't they? I love the squished, little squished yeah. pumpkins. But you know what, what my favorite thing is? What's that? That crazy freaking cookie right there. Move over, cookie monster. It, that, that is pretty freaky. Yeah. If you like anything you see here, check out Fright Night Studios at FrightNightStudios.com. Also, there's a QR code right there. You can grab it. Diver down. Oh my glory. Shark bit. Could have been that shark right there. For your nautical haunted house. That is creepy. And look at this guy. He's been all charred up. It's a cool prop. Fright Night Studios. So we are almost halfway through the vendor room. We popped out real quick. Take a little break. We're going to go back in there. I am blown away with the amount of fun we have had. We've seen a lot of cool stuff. We were just talking in Chris's video over there. She she agrees. You're having a good time, right? Yeah, just blowing my nose. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know she was blowing her nose. She's having a good time, too. We're going to go back in there. That's a better shot. Not blowing my nose this time. You're so beautiful. All right, let's get back in there. Let's do it. This is awesome. I like this shirt here. Very tiki, kind of. Spooky tiki. This is Razier Wrecked Costumes. They've got a booth here selling all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I really like this shirt. Oh my gosh, this sign right here before this says free selfies. This was created by our friend Tammy of Fatal Images. We're always seeing her at Spookala. And also, I still need to see this movie. Megan, I hear it's pretty freaky. So all these are from scans from original skulls. They're anatomically correct. Okay. Oh, so they're not real skulls, they're scans. Yeah, they're made I like that better. Miniature, right. yeah, that's, that's really right. cool. So no matter how big they are or how small they are, anatomically they're going to be absolutely correct so you can actually look inside there and see that the detail yeah, okay all the details there and i'm a lousy painter <laughs> i do not this paint stuff's it. good too so this is sculpture by scott finster and he has an art studio and there's the information right there if you want to check them out these are oh those wrap around your neck yeah so they're fully you can bend them you can twist them there's no metal you can't break it and i copied the the structure of a vertebrae from snakes. Okay. And that's how we created this. That's awesome. That's a clever idea. They are two from actual skulls. Okay. So it, yeah, it's a copy, so you don't get the actual skull. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Have you done it to humans yet? Yes. Oh, wow. wow yes, we cool. have done human skulls. Wow. This is 3D precision scanning. Make sure you check them out. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Here at the Scott Finster Studio booth. Also, Monster Manor Television TV. Take a QR code. A lot of horror stuff over here. Love me some creature feature. Ooh, do we need these ice? Are these ice cube molds or, or are these finger puppets? I think they're finger puppets. And we met up with our friends here at Fatal Images. Oh my gosh. I really love their work here. It's so good. Tammy does a really good job. They're based out of Ocala. We always run into them. We just saw the prop over there in the corner, the one that said free selfies. Now, for some, for a kid that was terrified of the scene from Poltergeist, every time I get near this thing, I've had it wrapped around my neck before. I, I get really nervous. You can do it again, Jim. Yeah. You, <laughs> what do you think? You want to give it a try? Oh no. Oh, you know you want it. Oh, please no. Ah! I'm trying to hold it right now. This is, oh man. Get it away from me. I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh, you put his teeth in. 
Yeah, he looks great. Animal here. He's got his teeth in too, man. He is so spooky. He's waiting for his close-up, Clarice. Or his uh, can of fava beans and bottle of Chianti. Yeah. Yep, that's really good. We were just chatting with these folks over here at Fear Expo. This is another haunters convention, a sister's haunting convention to HauntCon here. They are located up in the Midwest. They put on these haunt conventions. This is one of their previous conventions in Kentucky and Michigan there. These are all haunted houses. These are a part of the bus tour that you can feature or go on to as you do these haunt cons. They did one here a few days ago, as we mentioned on Thursday, a bus tour of all these haunted houses. I look forward to checking out Fear Expo someday. I think they're located in Kentucky. Make sure you check them out online. If you haven't heard about it, check this out. There's a rabbit in there. Whoa! That's, awesome. That's what I need. We need one of these. Yes. Mail's here. Mail's here. Who made this? This is cool. This is us. Dead Graves. Dead Graves. The one that just scared me here. FX Props. Check them out online. There's all their information there. Looks like they're out of Connecticut. Yep. All right. We like Connecticut. Spent a lot of time there. That's that's the uh, okay. That's the mailbox. This is. What's this one? That one. I'm doing this. Oh, cool. Okay. Got it. That reminds me of the Haunted Mansion a little bit. Here he comes. Pinky Boo, I see you. Credit card holder. Oh, cool. We got a little freebies here. Well, thank you. And my business away radio gear. If you have any questions, everything's on the website. You know, we offer brands with Motorola, Kenwood, Icom. So. If you're a haunt goer looking for some radios. Get we'll quality. Shows every year and Get Motorola. And yeah, we'll be there. Transfer. We'll be there. We're gonna check out this booth in here. Hi. Oh, cool. 3D reactive. Yes, sir. Let's see, I don't it know if you guys. Doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, this is awesome. That is sick. Now I've, I go to a lot of haunted houses and I see sick artwork. Yeah. Like this. How many of haunts? Uh, do you paint in haunted houses? Do you do I that? I do. Yeah. Uh, I actually am lead artist at The Haunt uh, up near Grand Rapids, Michigan. The Haunt, Grand Rapids? Cool. I'm going to check that out someday. This is brilliant. Wish you guys could see the effect. It's really sick. And this is Joshua Nisley? Yep, Joshua Nisley. Nisley. Okay, check him out on Instagram. There's his information right there if you're looking for some sick artwork. He's here at Hong Kong this weekend, but also you can get in touch with him. Really cool stuff. And I'm checking out this booth here. This is amazing. These are latex masks, handmade. Awesome. I even see, ooh, this guy here, he's really cool, sticking his tongue out. Also, got a little Sasquatch here, Bigfoot. And this is Jacob Marley. I'm a huge fan of Charles Dickens. Said it was 20 bucks for this. That's pretty cool. Some stuff in the works here. Yeah. I love latex. It's so, it's creepy. It feels real. And those masks were made by Josh here of Skin Reaper Studios. Okay, turn the corner here. Oh my gosh. This place keeps getting bigger and better. Look at these displays. We'll get a little closer. Just want to show you thing. everything that's going on. That looks like Krampus. Giant photo opportunities at Haunt Con. That's a massive display. Look at that guy over in the corner. Also the coffin. This just looks real, but like it came right out of the earth. 950 bucks for this. Let's say it's worth it. What do you think? 950 bucks? That looks great in the house. Yeah. So all this stuff belongs to Demonic Design. There's their information right there. It looks like they're on Instagram and Facebook also. There's a card. They've got more stuff here. Let's check this out. Whoa, I don't know if I can show that. Hello. How you doing there, lady? Don't look too good to me. I've never seen anything like these before. These are cool. These look like almost like um, copper or bronze statues, different characters. This room right here is the Jaws. Ooh, that's 25 bucks. That's cool. I think they're wood though. They just look like they're metal. You said this is your worst nightmare? Oh yeah. Shellfish guy. With a fish face. <laughs> that's, not right. that's super cool. Looks super real, doesn't it? Creepy, creepy. I like this jack-o'-lantern you can like melt on your wall. 
75 bucks. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Look at the shrunken heads. Those look real. 100 bucks. That's a good deal. Also, there's the Hatbox Ghost. That is freaking freaky right there. Check them out. Dynamic Design. There's the cardigan. They are out of Orlando, Florida. Not too far. Really good stuff here. Some of my favorite we've seen so far. I like that one too with the purple hair. We're making our way through the vendor room. This will be the last row. This is where we're headed just to show you what's going on here. There's some cool stuff right here. Mortal Remains made these right here. This is a cool mask with the glowing eyes. Also like a pumpkin thing there, some feet. Another mask here. This is a suit. Very uh, Groot is what I want to say. Yeah, very swampy. Uh, this would be right up your alley. Mortalremains.net. We make killer costumes. Literally. I like that. That's funny. Those the, are loud? The, it, the, the one that has the long stick. Is really That's the loud one? Yes. Yeah, so. Is this one? That one? It's loud, but it's not. Not too bad. Not too, not too bad. I'm checking out these props here at the booth. I'll show the information in a second. That, that one could be loud. If I, if I held that one down. But that one's the yeah, loudest. Yeah, that one's that one's aggressive. <laughs> Projectbackfire.com. Vicious since 2021. You were located in Florida, but now you're in Ohio. Yep. All uh, right. We have a storefront there now, but it's a boutique. It's not. It, we have this stuff, but it's mostly spooky boutiques and like the classes for the homeless. Okay. So. You said Ironton? Yeah. Ironton, Ohio. Yeah, it's funny. really cool We're like dolls. 30 minutes from where the Fallout 76 game is from. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I've been telling people. It's easy because they know that. <laughs> Queen Halloween. I believe you're going to like this place. I think you're right. Hallow Queen Designs. Spooky boutique. I like it. Okay, goals. We could throw a party in here. We've seen them before. We They, they just reminded me. We saw them at Tampa Bay Screams. They've got a lot more. I like the coffin lamps. What do you think? Yeah, it's really cool. Candles. Stuff. I like it a lot. I really like pretty the, stuff. Um, oh, wow. Blades, those are real blades the there. Blades. These little chandeliers. Let's check it out. I like that lamp. Also, look at this. It's like a half torso. Oh, man. <laughs> That's creepy. We're at Green Monster Collectibles. A lot of vintage horror masks and busts. A lot of props. See a lot of Frankenstein's monster. Look at that hand there. Look at these hands. You can wear these, I think. No, I think they're just props, actually. Look at that giant Frankenstein creature from the Black Lagoon. He's like, he's like, wow. He's like nine feet tall. That's amazing. It's beautiful. Also, the creature, good old Florida boy. Holy cow. This is a booth called Grave Creations. Looks like they make costumes. That's a really sick leather face robe there with all the heads on it. Nice little cloak to the left, some clown suits. We're getting towards the end. There's still much to see here today at Hong Kong. We've got makeup. We've got paranormal scrub. Some more makeup examples. All kinds of demos going on here. So this looks like exoticlenses.com. And right here on the last corner, hauntdesign.com we've got some props now i've seen a lot of these in haunted houses we've got like the shaken bag trick we've got the kitchen pans and pots like moving i think we can get this going here i don't know if i'm supposed to do that but that's what's supposed to happen there that's supposed to shake i don't think i was supposed to do that and the barrel trick the barrels moving back and forth looks like they design this and sell these animatronics so there you go if you're interested if you're haunted house and you need this stuff, take a screenshot. And right outside the vendor door, I thought this was like a bouncy house. This is Jelly Ball. Why have to do that? Okay, so we're gonna break for some food. We also gotta hit up the ATM. There's some stuff in there I wanna purchase. Hanging out with Johnny here. Bronto. What's up? This is day three. For day three for you. Day one for us. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You you work here. Yeah. Apparently, I. I you got. He, he just got mistaken for someone that works here. Right. Sir, where's the barbecue? 
across the street. Okay. And across the street from the Hilton, we're gonna get some lunch at Hog Heaven Barbecue. I bet this place is busy during bike week. It looks good, it smells good. Fried green tomatoes, love fried green tomatoes. Got some for the table here. I'm gonna try these out. These look, um, these are like, yeah, very homemade looking. My pulled pork loaded baked potato cane, that looks amazing. Johnny got the same thing. We got some grilled cheese, some yeah. waffle fries. Big sourdough bread. Oh, yeah. Looks there you great. Go, oh, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, and butter sour cream. That was stupid fantastic. If you come to Daytona Beach and you like barbecue, Hog Heaven. Or Hog Haven, as they say. Good stuff. And back to Hong Kong. The creature features continue. There's some more shows. We're going to take some cash out of the ATM, buy some goodies. There's still much ahead. And also here, a part of the con today, Haunt Master classes, room number three. These are the different classes they are offering. It's right over here to my right. Looks like coming up soon, Kelsey Livingood and Angel Bradford intro to indie film acting. That would be good. I've been, you know, I've been doing some acting myself. Definitely need some tips. This is also an indie horror film festival. And here at 3 p.m. today, they're showing I Possessed. The demon you run from is the one inside of you. That sounds awesome. And back in the vendor room, we picked out some stuff earlier when we did our first walk around that we wanted to buy. So we're gonna go around and get that stuff. Also, maybe we missed some stuff. A medication? I like it. All right, yeah. <laughs> we missed you at MegaCon. Oh no, we had a great time. Though. Did you? Just held the photo up. Oh man, I wish I could have got over there. It was crazy. We we tried to get everything done. We love ashes. Yeah. <laughs> Tales of Terror. We will be at the Central Florida Fair though. Central Florida right. Fair? That's right. February 29th to March 10th. Okay. Right. I want to put that on our Perfect. calendar. You guys look great. Yeah. Oh, I got a card here. We've got something for you. Bizarre Boulevard. Adult the... Circus Oddities, Haunted House, Chainsaw Juggler. Okay, we got to check awesome. this out too. We went with this shirt right here. Chris, the girl, and I loved it so much, we both got the same t-shirt. That doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. It does happen, yeah. Sometimes, 25 bucks each. And one more time, the Halloween Shirt Company, check them out, they rock. Stopped back by Skin Reaper Studios, just picked up this Jacob Marley magnet. He created this, this is awesome. 20 bucks, It's a lot of work right there. I'm a huge fan of Jacob Marley, Christmas Carol. She got the cookie! That's so creepy. Checking this out. And one more look at this guy. Oh, okay, so we've seen the vendor room. A nice little break from the convention. Look at that view. Lots of folks out there enjoying the beach right now, too. This was, that could be us. We could drive on the beach, too. It's a little cold for the beach for me. So the first time I actually came to the beach in Florida, Salt Beach, it was this one. It was during the winter. And my brother and I, we swam out there, built castles. I've, I've actually got video footage of that, but it was actually Daytona Beach. It was the very first beach I visited in my little existence. Also, the pier is right down there towards the convention, the Hilton. That's where we just were. And just like that, HauntCon 2024, our very first time at a haunted house trade show. It's in the books had a really good time today. A lot of surprises. It exceeded my expectations. What about you? Yeah, definitely. It was a lot of fun. Had a good time. We uh, saw a lot of people we knew, got to hang out. We will be coming back for another Hong Kong next year. They're having it in Orlando at the Wyndham. They announced that today. It'll be in January. That'll be a little closer to home. And also, we're going to announce right here at the end of the video, thank you for sticking to the end because we have a huge announcement. I don't think I'm going to put it in the title. So, we are going to our very first trans world in St. Louis. Now, it is a very giant convention. It spans for a few days. We're going to go for a couple of days. We're just going to enjoy it. And also, we're going to do some stuff. We have other plans we want to do in St. Louis. It's going to be a very quick road trip and we're gonna be we're gonna be having some fun i'm really looking forward to trans world i know we both have yeah we should have been there a couple years ago yeah. but uh we slept on it 
and it's always um, I think last year it was it was like in February and it was conflicting with something else but this year we've got enough time and we planned ahead and we're gonna go to trans world the world's largest um, haunt convention basically it's another like you saw today but it's up till 11 and if you're watching this and you've been there you know what I'm talking about I have relatives that have been to trans world uh, they used to tell me about it years ago it's been going on for a while and yeah I don't want to spoil too much but yeah we're gonna do a quick trip in st. Louis coming up and we're gonna do a lot of things haunt will be on can't thank you all enough for watching this video please check out Chris the girls video she was filming as well she had her camera she got a lot of things I didn't get today and um, yeah so always check out the link below in the description and yeah I think gonna wrap it up we're gonna enjoy the hotel uh, we've been just relaxing we've got the ocean over here again I'll show you tomorrow where we stayed we're gonna go on another adventure on our way back to Tampa and yeah appreciate you guys wouldn't be the same without you this channel means a lot to me you guys mean a lot to you uh, to me you mean a lot to us so thank you so much that being said know you're awesome know you're loved no matter who you are what you're going through just know there's much ahead for you I believe in you my friend it's not just a statement it's a way of life put one foot in front of the other and keep on trucking all right that's it creature feature over want to add anything Nope, just appreciate you all watching. Thank yep, you. thank you. Bye-bye. Watch your head.